Welcome to our podcast, where we cover unique and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss water discovery on an asteroid. A rare herd discovery of evidence of hydrations has been made on asteroid Psyche using the data collected by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. In the study carried out by the Southwest Research Institute-led team, the presence of hydroxyl molecules was confirmed on the metallic asteroid Psyche's surface. The existence of the hydrated minerals has shifted the spotlight on the history of the asteroid, which has been orbiting the Sun between planets Mars and Jupiter. Asteroid Psyche, which is 140 miles in diameter, is one of the biggest space rocks in the main asteroid belt. It is a dense and mostly metallic celestial object which is suspected to be the leftover core of some planet that may have gone through a catastrophic collision. Planetary Science Journal paper's second author, Dr. Tracy Becker, said, Using telescopes at different wavelengths of infrared light, the SWRI, lead research will provide different but complementary information to what the Psyche spacecraft is designed to study. Our understanding of solar system evolution is closely tied to interpretations of asteroid composition, particularly the M-class asteroids that contain higher concentrations of metal, said Dr. Stephanie Jarmack, the lead author of the study. These asteroids were initially thought to be the exposed cause of differentiated planetesimals, a hypothesis based on their spectral similarity to iron meteorites, she added. The data collected by the James Webb Telescope points to the presence of hydroxyl on the surface of Psyche and also hints at the existence of water. The hydrated minerals can come from external sources, which include impactors. However, if hydration is native to the asteroid, then it will have a different evolutionary history in comparison to what current models suggest. Dr. Anicia Arredondo said, Asteroids are leftovers from the planetary formation process, so their compositions vary depending on where they formed in the solar nebula. She also added, Hydration that is endogenous could suggest that Psyche is not the remnant core of a protoplanet. Instead, it could suggest that Psyche originated beyond the snow line. The minimum distance from the Sun, where protoplanetary disk temperatures are low enough for volatile compounds, to condense into solids before migrating to the outer main belt. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.